sneak attack. The new event has arrived much sooner than I have expected. I honestly thought that this was saved for the next Thursday, but here we are, the new tanks and the new map has arrived and time to check out the new tier 8 rank 15 premium platoon, the QF40 MK2A. Now the QF40 uh, has a 105 motor main gun, is quite fast, 65 km per hour stop speed, reverse 25 km per hour, it has 43 tons, maximum average penetration, well, average penetration if running 40 mm, reload 6.7 seconds, turret rotation speed 40 degrees per second, frontal armor plate is decently protected, and I did bounce quite a bit of shells with this vehicle. Surprisingly, this thing uh, is very similar to the STRV 103C when it comes to the cruiser ability. Uh, for some reason, uh, I was taking a lot of hits, but I wasn't dying with the with the QF, so it might be a very interesting vehicle uh, to play for sure. Uh, it does have APF SDS and it has a 3 ATFS, all very good ammo types. The APF SDS is really good, and I personally use the APF SDS as my primary ammo. HE ATFS is my secondary ammo. And it's also good against certain types of, I guess, vehicles that can be tough to penetrate at longer distances. But overall, on paper, this thing is really good. But how will this vehicle perform in combat? Well, let's, let's check it out. Now, uh, we also have received a new map. I made three different videos on the new map that are going to be uploaded. The new map is awesome and it's not that difficult to run, so you don't have to worry about the frame rate. On the other hand, this map is still tough to render. Well, not tough to render for my phone, this phone just eats this for breakfast, but it is one of the more difficult to run maps. Now, how does this thing... how do you play this thing? Well, it is fast, it does have the same maneuverability uh, as a Leopard. And you can play this vehicle uh, like the like Leopard. The turret rotation is really good. It does feel like it's rotating faster than the Leopard's turret. And... That's basically... I mean, it's a very interesting vehicle. Uh, I will definitely drive it a lot more often. If you want to make this a premium vehicle, well, I would say... Try out the normal QF and see if it works for you. This vehicle can do flanking, but it is excelling at sniping. I mean, it has a PFSDS and it has a very interesting uh, main gun. Very good ammo as well. How is that Leopard alive? I have no idea. Also, did you see where my aim... Did you see where my dart went? It didn't go where I was aiming at. But the accuracy of this gun is good. The penetration is really good. There is basically nothing that you can penetrate with this with this APF SDS. If in some cases uh, you can penetrate something, uh, HE ATFS is there to help. I got flanked. I got hit. Now I got hit in the side, and I'm alive. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. This vehicle's survivability is interesting. And we have a AMX 30B2, a very dangerous little vehicle, but I was. I did kill the gunner of the AMX, so that bought me enough time. My engine is damaged and my loader is in pieces, so I'll probably repair my vehicle in a second while I am piloting the, the bomber. It does look almost like the... What was the name of the vehicle again? It does look like a leopard, like a modern leopard. I mean, these vehicles are we're slowly reaching the modern era of tanks. Not really sure how many vehicles uh, there are until we reach modern vehicles. I think we still have some time until until we get to modern vehicles. But yeah, this this does look like a modern tank, kind of. Oh look, a. A Raketen and Troll Panzer, as I like to call it, Raketen and Troll Panzer. I was, uh, somehow I took a direct hit from the missile, 
and I am alive. Only set the tank on fire, I guess the fuel tank. The fuel tank on this thing can be quite the troll thing, I guess. Another kill, that was kill number four. This position is really good for this vehicle. Very good, uh, even after they changed the map. They have changed the map, they've changed this rock here, and now you can't really snipe the same way you used to be able to snipe, which kind of sucks, but yeah, I guess. It did feel a bit overpowered, honestly. Uh, so... Although it sucks because the, the position that I had here was just so good. It was really good for the Leopard and... I mean, this vehicle does play like the Leopard, so... I mean, there's little, no, little to no difference. With, I guess, the only difference, this vehicle has a bit more armor on the front, so... Definitely a... a tougher tank to penetrate from the front, uh, however... In high tier you should not rely on the armor, since there's a good chance that the enemy will pant at your armor without a problem. And ZTZ hit the main gun. But they were spamming smoke and I don't see anything. Well, uh, let's see... Oh, they are still holding the zone, which is not good. I'm trying to clear the path for me to rush towards the zone. Oh, wait a second, there is, there is, there is a tank over there. I don't really see what, but let's see if I can hit... Well, I, I did hit something, I guess. Oh, it's a M48, okay. Where did my dart go? It should be able to penetrate the tree without a problem, I guess. I just have to spam the dart. I uh, hit the engine, I believe. I have no idea what I'm shooting. What part of the tank I'm shooting at. I'm, I'm just... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that worked. That worked. And I have only one magic dart left. But I have to quickly just reduce the graphics for a second. Because the, the GPU is getting toasty. Of course, I'll just... I'll increase the graphics later on, just let this thing cool down a bit since we are playing on maximum usually. We are playing on maximum and this is Vietnam, uh, the most demanding map in the game, so not really surprised at the... It's not overheating, I just, I just try to keep the temperature below 70 at all times. If the temperature is below 70 at all times, I will have no problems with the, with the device. Oh look, a a death box ATGM or AT ATGM death box, as I like to call them. A Mars 15, a cute little light tank. Okay, and right in the ammo with the HATFS shell, which blew up the the light tank. Oh, I'm still getting shot by someone. Let's fall. Let's fall back. My engine is broken, and the well, this time the loader is completely blown to pieces, so the loader will not be able to uh, load, I guess. Well, honestly, I like this vehicle. So far, it's been performing really well. I have no complaints about... Uh, I have no complaints about this, uh, this tank. It plays like the Leopard. That's all, that's all that matters in the end. If you like the Leopard, then this will be a perfect vehicle for you. It is fast, has a very good gun, a very good ammo. If it's APFSDS, oh look, hey, another AMX. But my teammate got a kill, okay, fair enough. The missile wrecked it, oh look, a ATGM death box. Well then, uh, that was a good match, actually. Seven kills on my first match for, for this vehicle. Very surprised at how it works. It is definitely a uh, interesting, interesting medium tank. Or should I say main battle tank. Let's go to the next match with this thing. Now, it will be fun to see the Leopard 1A5 in action. That's the next thing that I'll be using. But honestly, I think this vehicle might be the best vehicle of the platoon. Uh, might might be the best vehicle of this platoon, uh, based on on how it works. 
It can bounce shells. That doesn't mean that you should rely on on bouncing shells, but it also does have a very, very good. I mean, the stabilizer on, on this thing is decent. Uh, the turret rotation speed is very fast, which can be beneficial. The I forgot. I will have to check the leopard's turret rotation speed. I'm fairly sure that this rotates much faster. Oh look, a QF. Lower plate. Killed three crew members and destroyed the engine. I bounced the shell there. The turret... I think the turret can be quite tanky, but I'm still not relying on the turret. I rely on the enemy being distracted, so I peek out, I shoot, and I fall back. That leopard took a big hit. I did miss the ammo, but... That didn't matter, still did a, a not good amount of damage. And I destroyed the engine of the ZTZ 88A. Now they are stuck there and I just lead the team to finish off the enemy. This is already on, I'm already on the road to uh, to get the wingman medal, which could be important for missions. That was a ATGM death box that I blew up. Direct hit with the AP, AP FSDS. I love this ammo, it's just evil. Direct hit in the turret. Killed the loader and the commander. And someone else got the kill, I got the assist, that's fine. Let's see, let's peek around the corner. This, uh, you can lower the gun very... Uh, I mean, this has a very good gun depression, I think all main metal tanks have very good gun depression, can lower the gun like the leopards, which is very important when you have a target like this but someone else got the kill it's very important and it gives you a big advantage on the battlefield destroyed the gun on the M48, next shell should kill it but I think I just focus on another one, okay, that killed the gunner. I got hit by a rocket, but no damage. The armor saved me. Murder A1. Karu knocked out, that's a very good... The, the This shell has some very good spawning. And very good pulse penetrating damage. It is a very powerful shell. High velocity. And it's very, very nasty when it hits. Definitely do not want to be behind any any armor when uh, when a magic dart hits because that's bad news usually. Now let me see if I can kill that. Oh, okay, my artillery killed that CM25 on the hill. Dropping the box. Maybe I get a kill. Maybe not. But we will see what will happen. And this position right here is probably the best position for this vehicle on this map since it's also a very low profile turret, I forgot to mention that. It is a very very low profile turret, not much of the tank is exposed. Very small part of the, you can actually, this is a very very small uh, turret. Well not, when I say small, I mean height, it's not huge, it's, it's low profile, small silhouette. And it can be quite sneaky, which makes it perfect for positions like like this position right here, where you can just have a good view on the whole field, and the enemy will have to really zoom in hard enough to see you. I also recommend manual zooming for this vehicle if you plan to snipe with it, since it is uh, again very low profile and difficult to to hit. Well, that was definitely a very good match as well. Didn't get the first place, but you know, was still pretty decent. And well, with that being said, that was the QF40. Very interesting Italian main battle tank, and uh, we'll see how the Leopard will perform in the next video, which will be uploaded very soon. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.